Hi, my name is Matthew Clote and I'll show you today how you can drive your Robo Sapien with Microsoft Robotics Developer Studio. What you can see here is a nice picture of a Spider Sapien, which is just in fact a Robo Sapien version 1 with a nice Spiderman texture. On the left side you can see my own one taken at the moment with the webcam and that's my hand and next to it a uh, PlayStation 2 controller which I use to replace the uh, controller provided with the Robo Sapien which I found really not that practical in fact. Um, this controller is plugged in with an interface onto the USB port. In order to communicate with the Robo Sapien we have to send infrared signals and that is the device that I will use today for sending infrared signals. It's called a Universal Infrared Receiver Transmitter. It is sold by his creator, John Rees. You can see the name here. Um, at a price that would average something like 60 euros. The library or the service that we will need to um, interface the USB URT device with Microsoft Robotics Studio is a small thing that I've written which is called USB URT service and you can find this at uh, http dot slash slash code dot google dot com slash p for Patrick slash USB URT service that's all I've also provided in the download section some links to a file that contains the UIRT codes and that's an XML file I can show you the contents here it's pretty much straightforward explanation of all the codes you need to send for triggering actions on your robot there is the arms category the movement category and things such as attitude whistling programming etc there is also a link, a direct link to the compiled version of the USB URT.NET managed wrapper library, which requires you to have the API available somewhere in your system. And I've also provided a link to a VPL project sample. VPL is the visual programming language. That's that's the one I'll show you a bit later on. So let's start the Microsoft Visual Programming Language Express Edition. And I will open here, I'll put it next to the webcam, and I'll, I will open the file that I have put for download, which is called uh, here application USB URT. this little project there is a very simple diagram with one game controller a list of if statements and logging activities and some instances of my USB URD service so I'll try to start from the beginning I've installed this service on my computer and I can find it here in the list of services. It's the service interface for USB URT transceiver. If I drag and drop, I'm creating things such as this, which I can use to send infrared codes. So it's pretty much straightforward in a way. We just have to be careful and to send the codes, or at least the one I've provided in the links I showed you before, using the code format .uurt. It's very important. There is another code format, but this one has to be used. Basically, what that does is it listens to um, updates on axis or on buttons, and depending on the type, for example here, it's the horizontal axis that has changed 
to the right, to the left, vertical axis, to the bottom, to the top, and then some buttons. Depending on those, I will send, I will transmit different infrared codes. So we'll play and see if that works. So the IDE starts a run a console window and tells you and logs exactly what happens. I will take the remote control, the joystick. I'll try to show you that if I press this button, I actually wake the robot. He's happy. This button is for stopping. He's already stopped. And then we can use those directional buttons to go forward, stop, backward, stop, turn right. As I'm doing that, you can see that the codes are locked on the console. And turn left. it for now. I'll go a bit deeper on how we can do more things about that a bit later. Thank you very much and have a good day.